When's the Sam and Than show, by the way? Uh, it was. Oh, when? It was Saturday. I was away. How was it? Sunday? Saturday. It's good. It's good. I lost oh. the day. They didn't have the Paltor camera on, though. Piss me off. Why didn't you? Did they, I gave them all the info they needed. I put them on the admin list. All they had to do was log in as an admin and turn the camera on right up there, and it would have been on. And I got home, and I tune it real quick. I'm like, oh, let me ch check out the show. Ah, nothing. I haven't. Uh, we had to turn the studio over very fast, and Sam spent the... He was using the wrong uh, computer at, I at first. I knew it. At first, at first. Yeah. And then all our breaks were real short, too, and we were just trying all to right. hammer together a radio show. All right. <laughs> Ope's already bored. I, I kind of am, actually. Wait, I want to know why. I want to know. I uh, wanted to know. Yeah. I wanted to know about your radio show. Was it a hit? I think so. Yeah. 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 A lot just, of uh, message board activity. There I was a response. I just heard the end about your favorite ghost. No, those are <laughs> the top five worst ghosts. Right. Ever. <laughs> Who was uh, on the list? The Pac-Man ghosts. The Pac-Man. <laughs> Casper. Bill Cosby from Ghost Dad. Oh, very Ghost nice. Dad. Can we hear that break? Like a little taste? <laughs> yeah. Who else? Uh, Elo, Elo heard the Than and Sam show. Oh, yeah? Maybe we get him on the phone to give his review of the Than and Sam show. That would show. kind of be cool. He's a radio. Have the guy, because he's like the head muckety muck. Yeah, he's the one you got to impress in the yep. end, man. He's the big way. We don't mean shit. All right. Noted. We'll, we'll get Logan on the phone to talk about Than and Sam. Hey, Elo. Hey, guys. Hey. hey, Elo. How are you? How you doing, guy? Doing okay. Hi, Eric. Good. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? Good. So, what do you think of the Than and Sam show? Do you, um, do you want them sitting in for this review? <laughs> Wait. I... <laughs> No. Holy Jesus. Dude, I didn't touch a thing. <laughs> Wait, hold on now. Sam and, and Than are now in the studio. Fucking Elo has his own sound Elo's effect. Elo's got a sound effect. You creep. <laughs> You're down there in Washington <laughs> with your own sound effects? Uh, <laughs> <yep>. <laughs> oh, my God. What is wrong with you? Holy you shit. Nothing. You lose. <laughs> so. Can <laughs> you play these during meetings? Yeah, actually, what I have a whole thing where somebody walks in my office and they go, "Hey, Eric," and so it's wired to my side. <laughs> That's <system>. very important. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Elo, man! He's like Alan Sniffen. He's doing his own radio show yeah. there in the office. <laughs> our, our it's Eric Logan. <laughs> give us the another. Jingles will be in the, the jingles are, are being cut as we speak. Give okay. us a, give us another example of how you, how you <laughs> use your sound effects there. Boring. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot there's a lot of that that happens. Is that is that on your side or is that for people in the office who are listening to whatever <laughs> spiel they're getting? No, I, I've got to run through the system. So people will sit in my office and they'll ask a question, and uh, a lot of times during right now we're doing all of our budgets, um, so I hear I hear I hear a lot of this. <laughs> if people try to explain what the hell's going on with the numbers, so. <laughs> I by, by the way, in case you're curious, uh -huh. I thought I had blown it um, when I was up there. Remember, Anthony and I reached over and car crashed myself. Yes, yes, yeah. That's why I knew. That's why I knew where a car crash was on the instant replay. Oh, <clears throat> do you have a replay machine in your office? Yeah, I've got an actual replay machine in my office, completely loaded with ten banks of fifty each. <laughs> I can't get one. He knows it's right here on the corner. Yeah, right here. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Boring. Exactly. He's got his own machine. That's really funny. All right, well you got we got uh Than and Sam sitting in. Hey guys, how are you doing? Awesome, thanks, Eric. Yeah, just curious, uh your thoughts of the show. Than you well, take That's this a good one. thing to do, uh yep. him asking you what you guys thought. Yep. Uh, I will admit we got off to a rough start. Right. I think we were a little distracted at the start. Uh huh. A little uh, too, um, I don't know, apprehensive about people calling in and messing with us. Mm -hmm. And then I felt like we got a little better. I think. No, at what point did you feel the show actually kind of got into its own? Uh, 
Tony, when suggestions from Tony was a nice right. segment where we started be- building up steam. Well, now, on this explain su- that because I didn't get to. Uh, well, because yeah, I, you know, I was at a Christmas sure, party. Sure at my I get it right. I mean, what's interesting is is that they had a guy Tony come in uh, who, had, by the way, he did a horrible job of setting up who he was. I had no idea who he was. By the just like this guy named Tony appear out of nowhere, right? Okay. So you need to like make sure that the audience understands that. So Tony comes in with suggestions of things that would happen like next week. First of all, I think that's a little cocky to think that you're actually going to have a next week. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah. I think you need to kind of say, hey, listen, we hope this is something that can develop. I mean, candor is an important thing with your audience. Okay. That, I guess insecurity is another thing we want to project as well, right? <laughs> right. Well, you know, having shows Be as timid as possible. <laughs> right. Okay. I, I would start there. All right. I thought that was one of the problems. All right. All right, you got that part. All right. Wow. <laughs> now, I'm just, there was a part about the suggestions for Tony where it was the drink F and fight. Yes. Remember that part? Yes. Okay. Now, you were encouraging people to call in with what are they doing as they're listening to the show. Mm-hmm. Now, do you realize that on multiple occasions you were encouraging people to drink more and drive at the same time? And they would call in and go, yeah, we're driving, we're drinking. And the response from you and Fan were like, oh, Sam was great. Now, you do realize... So you thought that was the good part? (laughs) That's a liability. Is it really? Yes. Encouraging people to commit felonies while on the air over a national media on a federally licensed license that goes out is against the law. Oh, Sam, Sam has Sam might debate on that. He'll hear Sam. No, I'm not debating. He's jamming the middle finger up at the microphone. <laughs> There's no middle finger. <laughs> ah, look how nervous he is. Hey, There's that. no middle no. finger. Don't, I, don't joke it, here. That was his thumb. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember specifically uh, doing that, but I think yes, I don't remember. <laughs> well, let me help you. Let me help remind you, Dennis from Full Blown Age when he called in. Uh huh. I mean, a specific note of this. How great it was. He was driving around drinking, and I think your reply was, oh, that's great. Keep it going, buddy. <laughs> and it wasn't sarcastic? Uh, it had to have been. Uh, no. Mm. It was very encouraging. I'll have to listen uh, back to that. Yeah. yeah, maybe we can pull that and yeah, pull that pull that clip. I think that'd be a good one for you to pull. All right, and then now, do it again. Sam, Sam do it again. Let's, I want to talk about your. By the way, I thought that uh, you had a you had a nice little potpourri of places you went. You had uh, right. the whole MySpace thing about how you kind of surf MySpace, which was kind of pointless, but that was okay. <laughs> and then the suggestions from Tony was fine, but the weekly Hollywood buzz. Let's talk about this for a second. I heard this now. Now this it is did? a segment that I get, I heard, and I had um, commented uh, quickly when we were in commercial break that I thought it was a little odd to have used a game show <laughs> theme song <laughs> as a Hollywood kind of wrap up uh, thing. I That's thought it was weird that the Price is Right music. One of my bits. Oh, so so. Oh, so one of your bits is to have the wrong audio for the right bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you're gonna uh, do the ha- I mean, by the way, there's not a morning show anywhere in America that doesn't use the hacky oof. Hollywood gossip. And what theme music do you think they use every single time? Jimmy just put, Jimmy just pushed his mic away oh. when. Oh. oh, that was a rough one. That was rough. As soon as I heard every morning show in America, I'm like, this is not gonna be complimentary. <laughs> The point of uh, Hollywood news and gossip isn't actually to report what's going on in Hollywood. Uh, it's a bit. It's also sarcastic. It's like a parody uh, of. I'm reporting the, the news, Polsky. and Than is obviously completely disinterested in the news that I'm reporting, but I continue on anyway. So the, the, when you guys talked about the Tory Spelling yard sale, and there was hundreds of people that were there, give me the parody about that because you were reporting the news like you were reading it from a magazine. That's that would be me actually reading it from a magazine and Than not interested in it, as if to say this is not interesting. But there's Sam pushing on anyway. This is hard to sit through. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> okay, you just actually explained this to me, Sam. I am more lost than I was before I heard the bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Than. Than, what do you do in this bit? He's trying to sell you hey, out, what? Than. <laughs> He's, He's saying going. the bit. He's basically saying, I did my part. Yeah, I bit. did my part. Dan's <laughs> part is to be disinterested. Obviously, and obviously reason, he was yeah. screwing it up because I did my part fine. Obviously, the reason uh, Elo didn't enjoy this is because of uh, Thad's yeah. participation in this bit. Wow. That's not what I'm saying. You guys don't know how to handle the divide and conquer thing yet. Yeah, man. Hey, listen, I've been working with morning shows my entire career. Even shows as 
challenging as the Opie and Anthony show. I oh. have never in my career ever heard either one of them sell each other out in the degree this is happening in the first 10 minutes. <laughs> I think there's some hyperbole going on here. but uh, Hyperbole? Yes. Can you define hyperbole? Exaggeration. Can, can you actually spell it? <laughs> yes. That's fan. Is that your idea for to. good radio, Eric? Spelling? Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 oh. 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 Hey. Oh, did you just taser me? <laughs> yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> he tasered you from his office oh, in Washington. Oh, man, ain't taking no shit. <laughs> I can tell you what, you could actually spell check that entire show, and it would be entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he crushed himself. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so, right, so let's 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 start. Let's forget what I think. Forget what I think. What, I mean, what was the highlight for saying you and Sam? I mean, obviously you guys are clearly not on the same page because you're trying to sell each other out. So, what was your highlight, Sam? I mean, what was the thing when you when you walked out of there? You go, man, we nailed that Tory spelling. I mean, what bit was it that you guys really felt like you nailed? No, like I said, I think the the Tony suggestions. It was good because his suggestions were awful and made for good fodder for me and Sam to pick on them. Right. Sam? I agree. I think that was the one bit that we did best on. That had nothing to do with either one of you. It had to deal with Tony coming in well, and, call, and callers. The bit was not... Tony didn't make up the bit. We made up the bit because we saw how funny Tony was. We brought him in, and then we made him funny. All right, so if, let's say hypothetically we're to do another Stan and Sam show. Yes. And you guys are in my office pitching me on episode two. Uh-huh. What, what what should I take away from the call now and also what happened on Saturday as to why I should say yes to this? I would say the uh, the major development areas, if I could use business speak, uh, stemmed from just at being our first show, our first show being live, and that they would there are things that would improve if we were to give it another chance. Like I'd say we had something funny to say about most things, and the problem was just some of the roughness with having done our first show live. Can I ask a question? I didn't hear any of the show. I was away. What? How long was the show? Three hours. Oh, it was three. Okay. Why did yeah. you feel it started off rough? It did start off rough. I mean, why? Was the jokes bad? Or no, I just, we were I slow. We weren't on the same page. We okay. had to go from topic to topic. Than like there's was a, distracted. I wasn't there for him as much as oh. I should. There's a very concrete example of <laughs> me taking a stand on something. Sam completely contradicting me. I mean, going... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But, right, you know, so. that's not something that's going to happen every time. Wait, you go, right. yeah, why? why because you... I was agreeing with him, <laughs> disagreeing with me completely. Because <laughs> I was looking at the phone <laughs> or something. <laughs> but, <laughs> in terms of the show having room to grow, oh, that's great. there's yeah. obviously a lot of uh, interest in it. Regardless of what the comments were, the reviews on the message boards were definitely mixed. Uh, but, but the fact that they were mixed works in our favor because they were chomping at the bit to destroy us. Furthermore, for a show to be on from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. and have a 19-page listening thread... Shows there's, there's shows interest. There's some, and the phone banks were lit. It was seven lit. people replying to every post. That and doesn't mean the phone banks were lit the entire night. Ooh. Sam wasn't going to take that fucking... Sam jump right in there and finish yeah. his thought. Absolutely. Put that uh, foot down. If I could add in something, Elo... Uh-huh. I think after this discussion and your critique of the program, you just I think you I think you'd be <laughs> silly not to let them do it again because more people would listen. You just made them stars. I think I think we should rename the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, this isn't going to be good. <laughs> I think we should rename the show Trainwreck Radio. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. Oof. If we'll get us on the air again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, we'll take it. Yeah. Okay, so now if we rename the show Trainwreck Radio with Stan and Sam, you guys will do it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. but you're opening yourselves up to libel there. Once we start rocking the house, people are going to be very upset when they turn it <laughs> to Trainwreck Radio and it rules. And it's, it's not a train wreck. It's okay. I've already, I, listen, I already Confidence. have it federally copyrighted and trademarked. You can't take it anywhere. I'll own the name, so don't Website. worry about it. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully you can keep it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we Train, so now you guys willing to do another show? Yes, ready and you willing. You guys desperately want to do another show? Very much so. And 
I sensed a little of the uh, terse sarcasm about the time that you had the show on. So no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, geez, easy, there Steve. Was, wow, that was double, <laughs> Steve. The time, was, I think was, the time slot makes sense considering our experience. We were just saying that the fact that there were that many callers at that hour is more impressive than if there were that many callers at an earlier hour. Well, I'm willing I'm willing to move the start time up a few hours to give you guys a little bit more of an East Coast clear, as we'd say here in the biz. We'll take it. Mm. Six, I, just, I mean, are you sure? Are you sure the method to eleven? Handle it. I'll sleep. Uh, <laughs> and by the way, it's the only reason I can't because I can't stay up till two a.m. to hear this crap again. I just rather do it. <laughs> oh my god! We could just send you an MP3 too. No, yeah. I want to hear it live as it happened because I was just as drunk as the rest of your audience when I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have to cut it down to two hours though. So. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Two hours, yeah, by I mean, the, way. The, fir the first hour, bitching about the microphones. and the, I, What amazes me is two guys who produce this show every single day can't figure out how the studio works. <laughs> <laughs> there was bitching about the microphones? Well, it was, the room had to be turned. There were all these problems and guys coming in. It's like, is that, I mean, if you guys didn't I just have couldn't technical get the problems. Camera on. The one, yeah, yeah camera. I, I'd say one technical dif difficulty was the uh, Pal camera. Camera. Pal camera. 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 How hard is it to turn a camera on? It obviously Apparently wasn't working. Very hard. You yeah. click send video, and then the video doesn't send. So it's not hard, yeah. but it didn't work. They All right, so so computer. so the train wreck radio hour. You guys two. in? Yeah, yes. Two hour, two hour, hour, hour show. Two hour show, right? Cutting mm -hmm. an hour out already, huh? What's this? This is apparently... Must be some clips. I want to hear your disagree. I want to hear Stan going, yeah, I'm paying attention to something yeah, else. We're, we're, right. I'm going to pull that. All right, back, uh, backing up there, Elo, when these guys were encouraging people to <clears throat> drink and drive, you were saying? Yeah. All right, we got the clip. Dennis from FBA, what are you doing? Tony! Hey, Darren, dude. Gunslinger from FBA. I just got done four-wheel driving out in the desert out here north of Vegas chasing jackrabbits around in my pickup truck. Atta boy. All right, Dennis. drunk? Atta boy. That's are you, Tony. Are you going to fight the jackrabbits? No, I was trying to spotlight him with my shotgun. Are you going to fuck him? Kind of hard to. Uh, hell no. All well right. then, uh, thank you, Dennis. Tony thinks there's something wrong with you. Dennis, get a hold of yourself, pal. Uh, that was Tony, who was also in the studio, drunk. The whole reason he was in the studio is because he didn't know what he was doing, and he's the one who. He didn't even encourage it. He just asked if, they, yeah. if he was drunk. He's yeah. guy, you know, See, he's, but that's encouraging because if he responds and says, yes, you're encouraging, you're sending signals about a guy driving four-wheeler chasing jackrabbits and then asking if you're drunk. Well, if, you'd, Tony, if you replied, yes, said, I am drinking, we would have yeah. said, cut that yeah, out, but, sir. But you're, it's you're, making, you're, you're connecting the dots. That's mm. where you get in trouble. That is where you have the encouragement part. When the whole bit is called drink F and fight. No, that was, that was Tony's bit that we said was a bad idea. Okay, That's why but, he's there. But did, let me ask you a question. Did you broadcast it to a national audience to the entire country of North America? Yes, that it was a bad idea. We did broadcast it. That bit was a bad idea. And then you, then you ask the guy a question, hey, are you drinking, as he's driving through a field chasing jackrabbits? Yes, in terms of... Okay, I mean, you said yes three times. The, so what, so what the setup the was that here? we were... Asking people if they're drinking. You're fighting. There's just something funny about that. Knowing he's looking around for the right button to push. He's half listening to you, like looking for buttons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even hey, uh, care. Sounds like me. Elo. Yes, sir. How about uh, train wreck radio today at 11? I think we should just give it a shot here in, in 40 minutes, no? Opie. What a great idea. Van saying no. Sam? 11, I mean, if, if this is our only shot, then yeah. But, oh, oh, oh my wow. God, guys, come on now! You, you were doing midnight on the east. You're going to get 11 a.m. 11 a.m. on a prime time Monday. You get nothing. <laughs> 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 I mean, listen. I, it, I, I, here's the thing. I was pleasantly surprised on one on a couple of fronts. Ooh, sounds like we're getting set up. No, no, true. I mean, I heard the Black Earl show, which was. Horrid. I mean, this was not that bad. Right. Not as bad as Earl's Wait, show. Wait, Earl's show was not good? Oh, <laughs> Earl? Oh, God. He's still pitching it, though, isn't he? Yeah, he won't stop. The Black Rock Coalition, yeah. Can I'm, we hear some of it? We've heard it over the years. It's oh. him doing all the black artists and talking about them and stuff. Oh, I thought he did one on XM. He did. Uh -huh. he, this goes back a while. But we critiqued the hell out of that. It stunk? Yeah. Yeah, it was horrible. And I, think you were, I think you were filming uh, Lucky Louis. Oh, okay. And what's the other one? No, just the fact they actually got it done. They got it done. That was surprised me. Right. My expectations were so low. All right, your final uh, summary here. Um, I give them a passing grade 
and willing to give them another shot. Ah, thank you very much, Eric. There you go. But you, but just... you got to understand, we got to be tough on this. I mean, this is a, you know, this is the biggest channel on the platform. We can't allow you guys to slack and phone it in. Absolutely not. That's I mean, I, I just for the morning prep, show. <laughs> I, mean, I expect the prep. I expect you guys to have it nailed. So, the train wreck radio hour. You know what you guys do? Here's what you do. What's that? This is what me and Opie have done our entire career. Yes, this Call motherfucker it. to what? death. And then do whatever the fuck you're going to do anyway. <laughs> and you'll be huge stars. That's how it works. We uh, read you loud and clear, Eric. There you go. Good job. Any, and, other, and, any other advice for the youngsters? No. Please call in for our show. Oh. All right. Thanks, Elo. All right, guys. Bye, Eric. All right. There goes Bye. Eric. Wow. Well, all right. Not, not all bad. Eric, uh, some, some um, criticism. And the valid points, <clears throat> some of them. But uh, except for the, not. the legality thing, we we still think we did the right I, thing. There. I, I thought listening to the clip, I thought if somebody's driving, and then uh, uh, they, even if they say they're drinking, and it's them saying it, I don't think that's really you endorsing anything or saying anything like that. That right. he might have been a uh, you know giving you a little little bit much on that, yeah. But like, uh, did Elo really said that say that he was uh, that you guys were broadcasting to the entire country of North America? Yes, he did say. <laughs> that. Yes, he okay. did. So he might be drunk at his desk right now. <laughs> Elo, yeah. I'll save you the button pushing, and, and I got one for you. Shame, 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 shame on you. That's easy. And this one. Good damn rich. What <laughs> <laughs> if he has that one down there? That's uh, that's easy for Eric to say as he's fucking lounging around there on that continent of Florida. <laughs> what? 